I want to show you how to wrap a slimline jewel case. The slimline jewel case from the front looks an awful lot like a standard jewel case. You can see the slimline is much thinner. This is a standard jewel case, this is a slimline. I'm going to use the same wrap that I use on a CD roll. So I want to show you how to make that more versatile. So we're going to start off the same way as we did with the CD jewel case. We're going to line it up. We're going to pull forward. I'm going to make sure my fingers are outside the wrap. But what's unique on the slimline case is because the profile is so narrow, you actually approach it a little bit differently. So on a jewel case, I would fold that over and make sure everything was flat. On a slimline, you can see it kind of goes over. And that's OK, and I'm going to show you why. So we're going to fold over. It's not going to be, it's going to be longer, but that's OK. We're going to tap and roll, and then we just need to smooth that edge. So we've got that. So there's just a tiny bit of overlap right there, but it's a way that we can utilize the same CD size of um, film. Now doing the ends, I like to do the ends, I like to take my case and put it face down before I do the ends. Because this is a narrower case, it's going to fold over a little bit, and I want that fold over to be on the back. So I'm going to start the same way, using my index fingers, I'm going to part the side, just like we did on a standard jewel case. I'm going to roll this piece out of the way, and I'm going to use this front edge and then roll over and let go. So when I roll over and let go, you can see this piece is quite a bit longer than the profile, and that's okay. We're going to roll that forward. We're going to tap, roll, and now to make that lay flat, we're just going to smooth it around the corner. And now I've got a nice flat piece. If we do the other side, we're going to push in, we're going to roll out of the way, we're going to roll that closed, and I'm going to fold this over, and then tap and roll, and then I'm going to roll down. Use this curve that's on your heat panel to smooth those around. Now it's very subtle, this little bit of overlap, but I'm able to get a nice clean overwrap on a jewel case without having to change size in my rolls. It makes your CD roll a lot more versatile.